Hey there everyone and how are you guys doing today? My name is Joe Marin and in this video for you today I have got a very exciting review of the Nokia Lumia 1320 on Cricut Wireless. So the Nokia Lumia 1320 as you can kind of see right here is a massive smartphone. We're looking at a 6 inch display and the phone is pretty much as big as my face. Now this is a budget smartphone with a price tag coming in at just $279 without a contract and I gotta say this is probably one of my favorite budget smartphones I have used in quite some time. So without further ado and without any more holdups let's go ahead and take a very awesome look and a very cool review at the Nokia Lumia 1320. But before we go any further, please go ahead and grab that coffee cup, fill it up, bring it over, and sit on down. Take a swig from your mobile cup of Joe. Right off the bat, easily one of the most striking features about the Nokia Lumia 1320's design is its display. With its screen measuring in at 6.0 inches, the display here on the Nokia Lumia 1320 proves to be fantastic for media consumption and playing games. Now below the screen we have three capacitive buttons, one for going back a page, one is our start screen slash home button, and the search button now opens up Cortana with Windows Phone 8.1. Going above the screen is our Nokia logo with our uh, speaker grill for making our phone calls and the front facing camera. On the bottom frame is the micro USB syncing slash charging port. Up top is your 3.5mm headset slash headphone jack. And going on to the right side of the frame are all of our physical buttons. We've got our volume rocker, our power slash lock button below that, which is actually placed very nicely so it's still easy to access that despite the large size of this phone. And below the power slash lock button, we also have a dedicated camera capture button. Now if we go to the back of the Nokia Lumia 1320, we do have our rear camera. Unfortunately, this is a lower resolution at 5 megapixels with our LED flash above that. And below the camera, we're looking at a very light Nokia logo. And then below that, we do have some Cricut branding and a very tiny speaker grill. Now you will notice on the back that it has a very striking, very bright orange color scheme. Now while I really do dig the overall look of the phone, the actual practicality of the materials used here for the construction aren't all that great. Nokia has used polycarbonate in a lot of their smartphones for quite some time now, and while it does feel good in the hand of most of their smartphones, it doesn't work all that great here on the Nokia Lumia 1320. The polycarbonate used on the phone is extremely slippery, uh, the frames all around the device are rounded, meaning you don't have a whole lot of space to grip the phone and really get a good solid feel for the device. And then you factor those two things on top of the 6 inch screen size, and you're looking at a smartphone that's very unwieldy for really most people. Now I've got fairly normal sized hands and I am a really big supporter and I really do enjoy of these larger size smartphones. And while I do like the screen size, screen size of the Nokia Lumia 1320, I did find myself having quite a bit of trouble uh, managing the device in one hand or even two hands just because of the rounded frame, uh, the very slippery back texture, and that large screen size. Now while the display on the Nokia Lumia 1320 is certainly impressive, the resolution really isn't. We're looking at a resolution of just 1280 by 720 PHD. Resolution on the phone despite being a lower one at 720 PHD still looks surprisingly good here on the Nokia Lumia 1320. Now this is not the best resolution I've ever seen on a smartphone, and it's actually far from the best, but colors are still nice and vibrant, text is easy to read, although it does get a bit fuzzy if you get close to the phone's screen. Blacks are decently deep and rich, oh, whites are nice and stark, outdoor visibility is really solid actually, and I had no problems at all with the viewing angles. In regards to the performance of the Nokia Lumia 1320, we're looking at a dual core processor clocked at 1.7 GHz, an Adreno 305 GPU, and 1GB of RAM. Now Windows Phone has never been that intense of an operating system and has generally run really great on lower end specifications, and that is no exception here for the Nokia Lumia 1320. So overall I was pretty impressed with the processor in here, especially again you consider the price and who this phone's being marketed towards, any day to day operations you should be able to run flawlessly on here with the Nokia Lumia 1320. Now as the story goes with budget smartphones, the area that usually takes the biggest hit is with the camera. We're looking at a 5 megapixel sensor with LED flash, and right off the bat this should kind of tell you how the rest of this portion of the review is going to go. Images taken with the camera here in the Nokia Lumia 1320 just look really crappy. Images are very grainy, even in brightly lit situations, 
uh, outdoor visibility with the camera takes decent shots but it's really only things you're gonna want to upload directly to Facebook uh, this isn't something you're gonna want to take at family gatherings or on vacations as your primary camera because you're really gonna be disappointed with how the images are represented along with the graininess in the photos low light performance is out of the question as well as most budget smartphones are and the LED flash on here really doesn't help out the situation that much either like taking pictures with the phone is not impossible if you just need to snap one to send to a friend or upload directly to your favorite social media website it'll be okay for that but just don't expect to do anything more here with the camera call quality on the Nokia Lumia 1320 is pretty decent and really average compared to most of its competitors people on my end uh, could it's could have sounded a bit better but everyone I talked to so that I came in clearly so you do have kind of a pros and cons on either end with the actual call quality here on the smartphone now the Nokia Lumia 1320 in the United States is available exclusively through Cricut Wireless which is a no contract service provider that uses AT&T's network now I recently switched over to Cricut and on the Nokia Lumia 1320 uh, the Cricut service is very strong and very reliable especially since the company now uses AT&T's towers for their service you have LTE speeds in here which are a bit slower than you're going to find with the normal AT&T service on the AT&T contract or one of AT&T's plans, but it is still generally uh, fast enough for any task you do need to perform. So data connections and the service on here is really solid. Call quality is pretty average, so it definitely does have some higher and some lower points with the service reception and with the call quality. When I get a smartphone into review, I generally expect it to last for about one full day of pretty solid usage, and if it's a really good battery on a phone, pretty much a day and a half is about the limit of what we usually see on smartphones in the market. However, with the Nokia Lumia 1320, we are looking at a 3,400 mAh battery unit, and with the smartphone, I was able to get two full days of very heavy usage out of the phone. And that is phenomenal here with a smartphone, especially for a budget phone at that. Just for the battery life alone for $280 without a contract, that is a big selling point in my opinion for the Nokia Lumia 1320 because we don't see too many smartphones with that kind of performance with their battery and that definitely makes it the highest point for the smartphone. In regards to its software, we're looking at Windows Phone 8.1. Now out of the box, if you do buy the Nokia Lumia 1320, it will be running the older Windows Phone 8, but the update to 8.1 is available and ready to download as soon as you take the phone out of its packaging. Now Windows Phone 8.1, if you haven't used it yet, is very reminiscent to that of Windows Phone 8. It's got the same general use your interface with your home page being your start screen with your live tiles allowing you to customize and resize those to your heart's content and if you swipe over you do have your full alphabetical list of all of your installed applications on the phone. Now a couple of the biggest additions to Windows Phone 8.1 well, which I'll touch on very quickly is Action Center which is your new notification drop down bar for Windows Phone which gives you some quick toggle settings for things such as airplane mode, Bluetooth, your brightness and your Wi-Fi with a list of all of your incoming notifications throughout the day. Now on top of this you also have Cortana which is Microsoft's own uh, voice assistant which is essentially a combination of both Google Now and Siri. You've got the humor and the personality of Apple's Siri but the contextual information and the relevant information you care about that the phone does predict as you use it that Google Now does offer. So it's a very very nice voice assistant and is probably my personal favorite feature of Windows Phone 8.1. But aside from that, this is a general Windows Phone experience if you've used Windows Phone in the past. You will feel right at home here with the Nokia Lumia 1320. I myself really do like how the phone is laid out and how the software is laid out. The application store, the Windows store for your available applications has gotten much better uh, within the past few months. It still isn't up there with the likes of the Google Play Store or Apple's App Store, but it is catching up. More developers are supporting the platform and this is a very nice uh, OS, especially for people looking for a bit of a simpler operating system, but you still want some levels of customization. This is a really good choice for you in regards to the software. So if you're in the market for a new budget smartphone, you really like Windows Phone 8.1 or you're looking to give it a try you're a big advocate of large size smartphones and you want a really good phone without a contract 
The Nokia Lumia 1320, despite its very poor camera, is definitely one of the best budget smartphones you can currently buy for the sub $300 price point. I absolutely love the 6 inch display, despite the fact that the phone can be a bit hard to use at times. The battery life on here is phenomenal, the processing speeds are very comparable, and will get you through any normal day to day tasks, and it's even some very high end gaming. So really you got a very awesome package here with the 1320. If you can get over that really poor camera, or you don't mind just uploading your photos directly to Facebook or Twitter or something like that, I really do think you're going to enjoy the Nokia Lumia 1320. I uh, get a lot of smartphones into review, and I've got to say this is probably the one of the phones that I'll have the hardest time sending back, and I get a lot of phones in to review here with the YouTube channel, and that's something I really don't say all that often, and it's especially cool considering this is a... $279 smartphone. This isn't even a flagship product, and I've really gotten attached to the phone. Again, probably because I'm such a sucker for those large displays, but I really, really did enjoy my time with the Nokia Lumia 1320, and I bet you will too if you do want to try your hands on it. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This has been my full review of the Nokia Lumia 1320. If you do have any further questions about the smartphone, please let me know what they are uh, down in those comments below. If you want to go ahead and circle me on Google+, Plus, you can rhyme plus Joe Marring, and go ahead and plus or circle or whatever you do on the Google+, Plus. Uh, circle the Mobile Cup of Joe YouTube channel as well, where we are plus Mobile Cup of Joe 1. There will be links to those uh, sites and those profiles down in the description below. If you did like the video, I would really appreciate it if you go ahead and hit that like button and to show your support for the youtube channel and to make sure you never miss a new video when we do kick them out uh, please go ahead and click that subscribe button either at the end of this video or at the button down below so with that said thank you guys so much for watching have a wonderful day and i will see you all in the next video Bye bye